Hello, 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 and good evening, everyone. Hello. Welcome to tonight's class. Good evening. How are you doing? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Great to see my students, my good-looking students. Where are my good-looking students? My very intelligent students and punctual also, huh? How are you guys? Ready for the class? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready so, teacher. if ready. you are, because I am ready, okay? So, I hope you're ready, too. Now, if you are ready, can you tell me what is there in your bedroom? Number one. Number two, what? What isn't there in your bedroom? And number three, something in plural. Yes? For example, in my bedroom, guys, in my bedroom, there is a big television. Um, also, there is no air conditioning, right? In my bedroom, there is no air conditioning. But you know, there are some, there are some teddy birds. There are some pillows. Yes? Capiche? Do you understand the exercise? Yes, I got it. Raise your yes. hand if you're ready then. Virtual hands, virtual hands up. Virtual hands up. Let's see, who wants to talk about your, what do you want to talk about? You want to talk about your bedroom? Do you want to talk about your living room? Do you want to talk about your bathroom? I don't know. Yes? Virtual hands up. Yes? Let's go, Juan Jose. Nice picture, sir. Good looking guy. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks teacher. Thanks. Uh, let's go. Uh, in my bedroom, there's a bed. In my bedroom, there's a dresser. And there's a mirror. And there are some curtains. In my bedroom, there aren't any pictures. In my bedroom, there's no bookcase. And there isn't a computer. That sounds terrific. You have no mistake. Congratulations. Thanks, teacher. Thanks. I have a question for you. Are there... Are there any are there any books in your bedroom? John? John, are you there? Juanjo? Excuse me, excuse me. Repeat, please. Yes, yes, yes. My question is in plural. Are there any books? You know, books, right? Books, right, right. In in your bedroom, there, are, there aren't any any books in my bedroom. Congratulations, sir! You are wonderful. <laughs> Let's go with Wilfredo. Proceed, Will. Good evening, teacher. Hi there. Um. In my case, in my case, in my case, um, in my bedroom, there is a electric fan. Um, in my bedroom, there isn't a lamp. Uh, in my bedroom, there are no television. In, 
in my kitchen, there are not coffee maker. Finish, teacher. Bueno, vamos a las corrections. Vamos a las corrections. Electric fan. ¿Qué artículo usaríamos con electric fan? Ah. Guys. Ah, electric fan. It's not correct. The article is an. Uh -huh. Why? Because, because electrical um. starts with a vowel sound. Vowel sound E. An electrical fan. Also, you said um, there are. When you say when you say there are, when you say there are, that's plural. Mm -hmm. That's plural. Okay. So you said there are no. Repeat your example. There are no television. You said television. There are no, there are no television. Now, television is is one television. Television. Mm -hmm. And and there are mm -hmm. is plural. So you gotta mm -hmm. transfer television into plural. Televisions with the letter televisions. S. Televisions. There are there are no there televisions. Are no televisions. Igual with coffee maker, me dijo there are. Entonces vamos a poner there coffee are. maker in plural. ¿Cómo quedaría? Mm. There are no coffee makers. Fantastic pronunciation, you see. Entonces, esa letra S la vamos a escribir y la vamos a pronounce. Right, Will? Nice job. Okay. Hey, no vi más manitas levantadas. ¿Qué les pasó? What happened? What happened to you guys? What are your hands up? No veo. Hey, where's your participation? Decía Ainsa Ford que para estar en este curso tienen que tener participación activa, muchachos. Así que a trabajar. Aquí el teacher es el que menos tiene que hablar. Aquí los importantes son ustedes. A ver, Daniela, go ahead. Hi. Um, well, in English, there are no television. Also in my bedroom are there are a book there are books sorry and but in my bedroom it's a uh, bathroom. There isn't a bathroom. There isn't a bathroom. There there aren't any books yes negative there aren't any books repeat Danny there aren't any books correct correct when you are describing uh, what is there what isn't there in your bedroom we kind of imagine we picture your bedroom and we imagine right like when juan jose said in my bedroom there are no pictures okay so we imagine the bedroom with no picture we use our imagination right so good job me gustó como usaste el singular good job there is a que natural se escucha eso there is a ojo como 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 con will verdad si el si el adjet, si el sustent si el uh, noun comienza con un sonido vocal voy a usar el artículo and por ejemplo si es un sofá de una persona se decía armchair verdad para una persona hay una vamos a decir there is an there is an armchair entonces cuidado con esos detalles thank you so much let's go with Elena Marisol Okay, teacher. Um, good evening. Hi, welcome. Well, in my case, um, in my bedroom, there are four pictures. In my bedroom, um, there is a computer. Um, in my bedroom, there is a bed with many teddy bears. Bears. Um, also in my bedroom. There is a guitar in my bedroom. There isn't a television. 
Did you say did you say in your bedroom there isn't a television? Yes, there isn't a television. I have a question. Is there a mirror in your bedroom? No, in my bedroom is isn't a mirror. There there isn't. There isn't a mirror. Mm -hmm. Now, are there any uh, posters of your favorite singer, like Romeo Santos, uh, in your bedroom? <laughs> um, no. Well, only <laughs> pictures on my on my family. Oh, family my pictures. Night. Yes. <laughs> my favorite pictures. Nice. So you print the pictures and you post the pictures on your bedroom walls. Yes. <laughs> only two. Only two pictures. Only two. Okay. There are. There are only. There are. There are only. There. There are only two pictures. Yes. Nice job, Miss. Congrats. Oh, let me go with Tamar. You're welcome. Tamar, go ahead. Describe. Describe. Go ahead. Good evening. Welcome. Okay. My bedroom is very small. Really? Yes. In it's it's private. This is only for you, right? Yes. <laughs> in my bed in my bedroom, there are two pictures. Mm-hmm. Uh, in my bed in my bedroom there are many books. Um, in my bedroom is in television. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? In my bedroom mm -hmm. is in a television. There, there isn't a. Yes, there isn't a television. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> just that. Good enough, good enough. I am satisfied. You check, you check my correction, right? Uh, puede que se nos escape el there. Okay, be careful ahí. There is, there are, right? There is, there are. Okay. And for the negatives, great job, Mr. Mar. Bueno, nadie más me levantó la manita. Todavía nos quedan tres minutos para práctica. Nobody else. Please come on in. Be my guest. Be my guest, hey, sir. Be my guest. Las tengo que rogar, good, yo, Dios mío. No, teacher, good evening. And in my case, in living, room, in living room, there are three sofas. In my dining room, there are two sofas. Dining room. In my kitchen, there is two. In my bedroom, there is a, a bookcase. In my living room, there is a television. In my kitchen, there are two. Shares. Okay. And the pronunciation yes. of comedor. How do you say comedor? Living room? No, that's sala. Oops, sorry. Comedor, dining room. Se dice dining, dining room? room. Dining room, okay. Dining room. Ok, me gustó más que todos los plurales, creo que en su caso hay que practicar los singulares, eh, necesito más naturalidad cuando diga there is a, eh, cuando sea el otro artículo there is an, ok, but en los plurales que siento que tiene más naturalidad, mis. entonces practiquemos los dos, please, All right. Singular. Singular, right, and along with plural because you sound good with plural, but practice your singulars, ok. It's okay. Let me It's see, okay. Gabriela. Go ahead, Miss Gabriela. Good evening, teacher. Be my guest. Uh, there is a bed in the bedroom. Um, there is not a television television in the bedroom. Can you repeat that, please? Repeat. There is a Okay. There no. There, there is no. There is no. Si es singular vas a there decir is there no. is no. Y si es plural vas a decir there are no. Uh -huh. There are no. Uh -huh. A te televisión in the bedroom. Ah, entonces es una televisión, entonces sería there is no. 
There is no uh, there is television. Television in the bedroom. Okay. Uh, there is there is a dresser in the no. bathroom. There is a dresser in the bathroom. Dresser. Okay. Dresser. Got it. Creo que solamente. Only that. Okay. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Good job, Gabriela. <laughs> Casi oh. todo lo tengo en el cuarto o en cualquier otra cosa. Lo no tiene sé. todo al alcance, mis. There is a AC bedroom también. Oh, there is a AC. Okay, that's good. ¿Cómo se dice? Hay un, ¿Cómo me dijo? There is, ¿Cómo se dice? There is aire acondicionado. AC, ¿verdad? AC. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería un aire acondicionado? AC. Am. Um. No. An. An AC. An AC. Porque AC, ¿verdad? Sonido vocal. Hey, entonces, an. An AC. There is an AC. Repeat. There is there, an AC. There is an, an AC. Uh -huh. There is an AC. An AC. Very good. Um, okay. I have a question, Gabriela. Is there is there a stereo in your living room? You know what is a stereo? You you guys know what is a stereo? No? Mm -hmm. Yes. What yes, is it? it is. Yes, there is. Yes, yes there, there is. is. Donde pones la música, ¿verdad? Stereo. That's a stereo. Oh, yes, yeah. there is. Excellent. Thank you so much. Let's go with uh, Guadalupe. Go ahead, Guadalupe. Tell us about what is there, what isn't there, what are there, what aren't there in your house. Okay. Uh, ¿Puedo hablar solo de mi, de mi cuarto habitación? Of course. Okay. Um, in my bedroom. Adiós. Uh, there are two tables. Okay. There is a TV. There are two curtains. There are a computer. And there isn't a sofa. There isn't a sofa. A sofa. Okay. A, a which means one. And a computer. And there isn't a computer. Yeah. Repeat, there isn't a computer. Computer. Um, there isn't a computer. Is there a second story in your house? Story. Or or floor? Is there a second floor in your house? ¿Quién sabe qué es second floor? ¿Quién se acuerda de qué era second floor? Segunda planta. Segunda planta. Segunda planta. Correct. O segundo nivel. Sí, segundo nivel. Yeah. Is, is there. Singular. Is there. Es pregunta. Is there a. Is there a second floor okay. in your house? Yes, there is. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much. Good participation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your participation. We're going to go to the attendance now. Let's go to the attendance. <clears throat> Here we go. Attendance, 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 attendance. Open up, please. Open up. File is loading. Bueno, vamos a desactivar un poquito para que cargue más rápido. One second. Ahí está. There you go. There you go. A ver, Alba Luz Cruz de Vázquez, are you in the house? Present. All right. I like it. Um, Andrea Elizabeth González Burgos. Present, teacher. Carlos David Lopez Amaya. Present teacher. Already. Um, very good. Claudia Margarita Constante Quesada. 
Daniela Mercedes. Presente. All right, Claudia, welcome. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. I'm here, teacher. Already. Diana Cristabel Melendez Rivera. Present. All right. Elena Marisol Peralta Amador. I'm here, teacher. Already. Esteban Otniel Chiquillo Rodriguez. Gabriela Noemi Oriana Tejada. Present teacher. All right. Hazel Rocio Pastran de Henriquez. I'm here, teacher. All right. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Jamilet Perez Martinez. Um, Carlos. Present teacher. All right, Karen, be my guest. Carla Xiomara Centeno de Valiente. Present. All Present right. Teacher. All right, be my guest. Crisia Gabriela Barrera Mendiver. Laura Noemi Dimas Escobar. Present teacher. All right. Marlon David Barraza Chiquillo. Present teacher. Are you familiar with Esteban Otoniel Chiquillo? No? You have the same last name? No, no. No? Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe far family. Maybe, you never know. Right? Um, Marvin Nivardo Escobar, are you in the house? Noelia Elizabeth Nunez de Castro. Ovidio um, Alexander Guevara Argueta. Present teacher. All right, welcome, sir. Pamela Alexandra Melara Colocho. Patricia Jamilet Martinez Landa Verde. Present teacher. All right. Sabrina Itzel Hueso Peralta. Present teacher. Already. Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Present. Tamar Alexandra Portillo Melara. I heard teacher. All right. Tatiana Lisset Ramos Gomez. Telma Jamilet Hernandez Mesquita. Present teacher. Okay. Vilma Esmeralda Banegas Pacheco. Present teacher. Already. Wilfredo Bonilla Alvarez. Present teacher. All right, thank you for your punctuality. Let's go ahead and talk about two special houses. Let me go ahead and share my screen with you. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let me know, can you visualize my screen? Can you see my screen now? Can you see it? Or can you not see it? Yes. Yes, I, can? Yes, I see it. I can see it, repeat, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. All right. We're going to talk about two special houses. Check. We're going to check it two times. Okay. Two special houses. I'm going to make questions after the video. We're going to play it two times. Check it out. Take notes. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Reading. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros's house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, 
But some people stay in traditional Native American homes, called hogans. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. And one more time. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Reading. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros's house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes, called hogans. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. All right. So which paintings? Which house do you prefer, Mrs. Cisneros' house, or do you prefer the Hogan? I prefer the Hogan. You prefer the Hogan, so you prefer this one, the Native American home. This is a Native American home. Why do you why do you like it? What is the difference? Mrs. Mrs. Cisneros house, can you tell me something special? Can you tell me something special about Mrs. Cisneros house? No le entiendo, teacher. What is special about Mrs. Cisneros' house? The house of Mrs. Cisneros is colorful paintings. Yes, that is correct. Mrs. Cisneros' house has colorful paintings. And Mrs. Cisneros' house has a lot of different colors, right? Yes, and what many colors? books. What colors? What colors does, does Mrs. Cisneros' house have? Pink, purple, pink, purple, pink, purple, 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 green, green. green. Yeah. Imagine, guys, imagine. What do you prefer? Do you like her house? Do you like her house? Yes, or, I or like what? It. You like it? Or what about a Hogan? You know, a Hogan, you can explore new things in a Hogan. Can you tell me uh, what is there in inside, inside the Hogan? What is there? There, there are three chairs and two beds. That is correct. There are three chairs and two beds. Let me ask you: uh, In this Hogan, is there a refrigerator? No, there are. There is a, isn't. No, there isn't. Repeat, guys. No, there isn't. Oh, there is. Oh, there is. There let is. me ask you. Let me ask you. In in this hogan, in this hogan, um, is there um stove? Uh, yes. Yes, there is. Repeat. Yes, yes there, there is. is. There is. There is, there is. There is. There is a. Uh -huh. There is a stove. Burning stove. See, say, dice a wood. 
burning stuff. Is this a verdad antiguas, right? Antiguas, right? Nice job. Nice job, guys. Thank you for your participation in this reading. Let's move on. Let's go to the next objective. Let's see. So next objective for today, well, this loads is objective number three. This is the third week. So this is objective number three. We're going to talk about common jobs. We're going to talk about activities and jobs. Activities and jobs. Let's talk about it. Let's watch this video out. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. 1. He's a receptionist. 2. She's a doctor. 3. She's a nurse. 4. He's a pilot. 5. She's a flight attendant. 6. He's a musician. 7. She's a singer. 8. She's a judge. 9. He's a police officer. 10. He's a lawyer. 11. He's a cook. He's a chef. 12. He's a waiter. 13. She's a waitress. 14. He's a salesperson. 15. She's a cashier. 16. She's a security guard. Now, let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform. Sits all day. Talks to people. Works hard. Stands all day. Handles money. Works at night. Writes tickets. Now, we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own. A doctor works in a hospital. This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier works in a store. This is a place. A cashier handles money. This is an activity. Now I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, all right, all right. So we're going to go over the pronunciation. Five. Let's go over the pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. Cashier. 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 Again, cashier. 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 Cook. 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 Remember, you can say cook or Chef. Chef. Or chef. Chef. Or chef. Teacher, pero cook significa cocinar. Sí, sí. También significa cocinero. All right? Yeah. Cook. Okay, next. Doctor. 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 Flight attendant. Flight. 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 Flight.
Flight. Flight attendant. Flight, Flight attendant. Flight, Flight attendant. attendant. Flight attendant. Okay. Next, it's judge. 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 Excellent. Judge. 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 Next is lawyer. 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 Next is musician. 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 Next is nurse. 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 Next is pilot. 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 Next is police officer. Police officer. Police officer. Police officer. Receptionist. 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 Salesperson. Salesperson. Sales person. Sales person. Okay. Next is security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Singer. Singer. Waiter. Waiter. Waitress. 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 All right, all right. Any questions so far? No. So far, so good? Yeah. Yes. All right, all right, all right. In that case, how do you say in English, doctor? Doctor. 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 And how do you say doctora? Doctor. 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 No es como en español, ¿verdad? Que prácticamente a todo, pues, tenemos que ponerle la A o, o ¿verdad? De, de para ella, right o, o la O para él, right Hay una excepción que es mesero y mesera. How do you say in English mesero? Waiter. 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 He is a judge. He is a judge. He is a judge. He is a judge. Entonces, he is a judge. para hablar, para preguntar de tu trabajo, la pregunta es, what, what, what do you do? No significa qué estás haciendo, significa a qué te dedicas. Te la podrían hacer de otra manera. Podría ser también What's your job? What's your job? Ok. Podría ser también What do you do 
do you do you what do you do for a for a living? Repeat. What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? Bueno, ahí le ponen ahí el signo del question mark. Se me fue otra cosa ahí. I'm sorry. All right. Mm -hmm. Ahora, la más normal, la más básica, la más usada es what do you do? What do you do? Ok, con deducción, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Pregunta directa, ¿a qué te dedicas? Yo les diría, I am an English teacher. I am an English teacher. Artículo an, porque estoy usando English. I am an English teacher. ¿Qué me diría usted? What do you do? I am an accountant. Excelente. A ver, ¿los demás? I am a liar. ¿A liar o a lawyer? A lawyer. Ok, vaya, cuidado ahí, cuidado, mis. Lawyer, I am a lawyer. Repeat, I am a lawyer. I am a lawyer. Ok. I am a salesperson. I am a salesperson. ¿Qué más me dijo ahí, mis? I am an English student. I am an English student. Good pronunciation. Good job. ¿Quién más? I am a graphic designer. Excelente, I am a graphic designer. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? I'm not a doctor, but I will be. <laughs> Fantastic. I, I love it. Vaya. Entonces, yo use el primer do en la pregunta es el auxiliar. Ok. Y el segundo do es el verbo. Entonces, como el do. Yo lo voy a usar con I, con you, con we, y con they. Cuando haga una pregunta en tercera persona, voy a usar el otro auxiliar, que sería das. ¿Ok? Das. Cuando hable de él, he. Ella, she, o oh. esto, it. Ok, entonces en este caso, yo les haría una pregunta de estos personajes. Por ejemplo, vamos a quitarle acá el volumen. Ahí. She's a flight attendant. Eh, Let's see, here. Here, 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 here. Mm -hmm. Hey, ¿quién me un manchón ahí? Come on, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, question. What does he do? He is receptionist. Ah, ah, falta algo. He is a receptionist. Beautiful. He is a receptionist. Todos. He is a receptionist. He is a receptionist. He is a receptionist. He is a receptionist. What does she do? He is a doctor. He is a nurse. Doctor. Nurse. She is a nurse. She's a, she's a Are doctor. you sure? She is a nurse. Two nurses. Yes. She's a doctor. She's a doctor. This is she. This is she. She is a doctor. Ok. A ver, me ayuda con la pregunta. Vamos a ver quién me va a ayudar con la pregunta. A ver, me ayuda con la pregunta Gabriela, right? Gabriela, siguiente pregunta. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Ahí está. She is a nurse. No, la pregunta, la pregunta. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? ¿Qué hace ella? ¿A qué se dedica ella? Yeah. ¿Cómo era, chicos? What do you do? Ya no sería what, what do you do, porque estamos what hablando de ella. What does she do? Correcto. What does she do? Todos. 
What does she what do? Does, what does, what does, does, does she, she do? do? Ah, te pregunto a ti directamente. What do you do? Ah, ustedes me dijeron, I am an English student. I am an accountant. Yes, pero aquí es en tercera persona. What does she do? Es como cuando te preguntan de tu hermano o de tu hermana. What does your brother do? What does your sister do? Ah, my brother, my brother is a university student. Ah, my sister is a teacher. Is a... Estamos hablando de una persona, de él, de ella. Eh, pues tenemos que usar el artículo a or an. Remember. So, what does she do? She's a nurse. She's a nurse. She's a nurse. She's a nurse. She's a ver, Guadalupe, next question. Next question. Nope. Okay, entonces of video, helper of video. Question. And what does he do? Repeat, repeat. Does. What? Das. What does he do? Correcto. Do, do. Más natural, más natural. What does he do? What, 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 what does, does he, he do? Do. What does he do? What does he do? <laughs> no problem. Y te vamos a ayudar a destrabar esa lengua, estimado video, ¿ok? Tienes okay, que okay. salir hablando inglés por todos lados, right? Todo esto tiene okay. que estar aprendido. Toma nota, toma nota, apunta, right? Todos tus avances ahí. Let's continue. So the question is, what does he do, guys? What does he do? What is the answer? The pilot. He's a 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 pilot. Excellent. Hey, ¿por qué no se mueve esto? One second, one second. Mm. Y Cherry, en, digamos, este, what do you do at work? Es, está bien así esa pregunta. Disculpe. Sí, está bien, está bien, solo que ella está especificando en el trabajo. Ya está trabajo. hablando con alguien que ya está empleado. Usted le está preguntando sus actividades en el trabajo, right? Y él le comienza a decir, ah, I use a computer, I answer the phone, I check the email, o qué sé yo, ¿verdad? Las actividades que hace, las funciones. Gracias. Thanks. También puedes preguntar, what do you do? Hablando de actividades, ponemos un día, ¿verdad? What do you do on uh, Sundays, por ejemplo? Ahora, si solo nos quedamos hasta what do you do, what Ajá. do you do, ahí estamos hablando de trabajos, de ocupaciones, guys, que quede claro eso. Sí. Okay. Yes? Yes, teacher, gracias. My pleasure. Entonces, um, Andrea, what is the next question, please? Uh, what does she do? Correct. What does she do, guys? What does she do? The flight attendant. She's a flight attendant. She's flight attendant. Te falta el artículo. ¿A quién le falta el artículo? Todavía hay. No se han acabado. Agarren uno. She's a flight attendant. She's a She's a unido, unido, unido. She's a flight attendant. Natural. Natural. She's a flight attendant. Love it. I love it. Alba, are you there, Alba? Next question. Carlos David, are you there, Carlos? Yes, teacher. Uh, Go for it. Eh, disculpe. ¿Cuál sería exactamente, teacher? Disculpe. Aquí está, mira, el gordito te tocó, mira, no sé por qué, pero mira, aquí está. Ah, ok. Eh, ahorita, what, what does he do? Excelente, con entonación. What does he do? 
Right, class? Mm -hmm. What does he do? What does he do? Okay, answer, answer. What does he do, guys? What does he do? He's a musician. He's a musician. He's a musician. Excellent. He is a musician. All right, next. Will, can you help us with the next question? What does she do? I'm sorry? What does she do? No. Yes. What does she do, guys? Yeah. What does she do? She is a singer. She is a singer. Excellent. She is a singer. Nice job. Let's go with Elena. Next question. Okay, let's go with Hazer. What is the question, Miss? Sería, what does she do? Excelente. Okay, class, what does she do? She is a judge. A judge. Great she pronunciation, Juan. She's a judge. Repeat. She's she a judge. Maybe maybe she's a ya podemos jugar con los adjetivos, right? Maybe she's a good judge. Maybe she's a bad judge. Maybe she's a random judge. I don't know. Right? We'll see. We'll see. Next question is gonna be said by a gentleman. Um Donde están los chicos? Let me see. What's that? Oh, what is the question there? What is the question? Okay. Juan, do you have a question here? Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, what does he do? What does Correct. he do? Okay, class, what does he do? He is a liar. He's a lawyer. Liar is mentiroso. Be careful. He's a lawyer. Lawyer. He's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. That is correct. He's a lawyer. Okay, por cuestión de tiempo, no vamos a terminarlos todos, right? Let's see. Teacher, liar, mentiroso, y lawyer. Abogado. Abogado. Well, <laughs> <laughs> a lo mismo llegamos. Ok. Vean, es como, es como, como bruja y playa, ¿verdad? Mm, parecido, mes, parecido. ¿Cómo se escribe liar, teacher? Mentiroso. Se escribe L-I-A-R. -L Oh, okay, okay. Vaya, aquí tenemos activities. Vean, activities. Aquí las tenemos en tercera persona. Le hemos agregado la letra S. Ok, es como que estemos hablando de él o de ella. Repeat, where's a uniform? 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 Viste un uniforme. Sits all day. Sits, Sits all, day. all day. Se sienta. Right? Talks to people. Talks, talks, to, people. People. talks to people. Talks, talks to, people. to people. Platica con la gente. Works hard. 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 Stands. Está parado. Stands. Stands. All day. All day. Handles. Handles money. Money. Handles money. Manipula. Manipula. Trabaja con. Handles money. Works at night. Like me, right? Works at night. Right. 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 Right.
Vámonos al notepad. Y fíjense lo que van a hacer como práctica. Ok. ¿Tiene mi screen? Yes. Yes. Entonces, vamos a decir, número uno, vamos a decir, I am, escogen un trabajo, ok. I am a chef, ok. Número dos, el lugar de trabajo, I'm sorry. I work, I work in a restaurant. Rest, restaurant, restaurant, I work in a restaurant, ok, en number three vamos a hacer un verbo adicional, I make delicious food, ok, luego escoges otro, a ver me ayudan, I am, a different job, a different job. I am not a doctor. I am no. a teacher. Okay, I, I am a teacher. I am a teacher. Continue. I am a school. In a school? In a school, yes. In yes. a school. Okay, continue. I learn English. I'm sorry? I teach English. I teach English. I teach English classes. Ahí está. Very well. Luego me hacen dos de tercera persona. She. ¿Me ayudan? She. She is a doctor. Excellent. She is a doctor. Continue. She works, she works in, in the hospital. hospital. In the hospital. Works. She works yes. in the hospital. Yes. In the hospital. In a in hospital. hospital. Next. She saves people. She saves people's lives. Salva la vida de las personas. Entonces, así me van a hacer una práctica. Right? ¿Ven qué bonito les va a quedar? A lot of vocabulary. Right? Por lo menos unas tres con I y por lo menos unas tres de tercera persona. ¿Les parece? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Me llega que ustedes no ponen objeción, son bien trabajadores. Right? <laughs> I love it. Bueno, voy a mencionar solo los chicos que no había um, um, eh, pues conectado al principio. No sé si ya se conectaron. Let me see. Esteban Otonel Chiquillo Rodríguez. All right. Él mandó un mensaje al grupo que dijo que estaba lloviendo y que por eso no se podía conectar a la clase. En el grupo ah, de WhatsApp. Bueno, no pudo, ¿verdad? Bueno, gracias, mis muy amable. Está Crisia Gabriela Barrera Mengíbar. Present, teacher. Ok, great. ¿Y quién más? Marvin Nivardo Escobar. Oh, my goodness, faltó Marvin ahora. Eh, Noelia Elizabeth Núñez de Castro. Oh, my goodness. Ok. Pamela Alexandra Melara Colocho. Wow, sí tuvimos ausentes, chicos. Tatiana Elizabeth Ramos Gómez. Yeah. Bueno, chicos, nos quedamos hasta aquí. Thank you so much. Espero ver sus prácticas mañana. Chat it on the chat. Chat it on the WhatsApp chat. Chat it on the WhatsApp chat. Practice your English. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 p.m., all right? Okay, bye. bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Stay safe. Bye. Be careful. Bye. Take it easy. Night-night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.